a savior worth having. A savior worth having. Well, first of all, <clears throat> if we're gonna select a savior, number one, he ought to be old enough. He ought to be old enough. I can't trust nobody who's in their 40s and 50s. I'm 60. I'm 61, as a matter of fact. I, I, I have to have somebody who, who, who was here before I got here. I have to have somebody who was available to mama and mama's mama. I have to have somebody who was in control and a part of the beginning and who was in fact the beginning. I can't, I can't trust these youngsters who just because they look peculiar and act the same to suggest that they can save me and help me and get me over. I need a savior older than this generation. And we have one. I have one. I'll, I'll present his name in a few minutes, but I, I, I have one. I have one. I have one who was before beginning. I have one by whom everything was made by him and without him nothing was made. I have one who was not a graduate of seminary and not a graduate of philosophy, not a follower of some teacher, not a follower of, of some a guru or something that just came out of nowhere and did something mystic and strange and now we're following him as savior. I need somebody old enough to be my savior. I need somebody acquainted with all of the generations and with all of time. I need somebody who knows all about the past to be my savior and to be your savior. I need someone. Not only do I need someone who's old enough, but I need somebody who knows enough. I need somebody who can deal with all aspects of living and learning. I need somebody who can deal with all aspects of having and, 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 and healing the broken heartedness. I need somebody who knows how to speak to me in the darkness of my hours and in the loneliness of those lonely periods. I need somebody to give me instruction when I need to be instructed, who knows how to instruct and who's not guessing and who doesn't have to read a book himself, for he himself is the book. That's who I need. I don't need nobody to take my problems and rush to the library. Let's look at the life of Jesus. His life was supernatural. One glance from him and water blushed in the wine. One word from him and demons trembled. One raised palm from him and storms got back in their place. One touch from him and a little boy's lunch became a banquet for over 5,000. One look from him and Peter's mother-in-law got healed. One conversation from him and a blind man received his sight. Nobody can do that but Jesus. Look at him, look at him, look at him, not only in his birth, but look at him in his life. Never a man lived like him. Look at him in his miracles. Look at him changing water to wine at a blush. Look at him being baptized in Jordan and the Trinity gathers together on earth for the first time since earth was created. Holy Spirit in the form of a dove, Jesus in the water and the voice of God speaking, this is my son. Look at him in his miracles as he feeds the 5,000, as he walks up to a funeral procession and stops it and returns the dead back to the house from whence it came. Watch him and look at him. Look at him as he multiplies fish and loaves and feeds 5,000. Look at him as he spit upon eyes and the blind see and the lame walk. Because there's something strange and unusual about this man, Jesus Christ. 
He heals the sick. He gives sight to the blind. He makes lame men to walk again. He makes deaf men to speak or uh, to talk again, to hear again. He's able just by his mere presence to change the atmosphere. Yeah. I, I need somebody who can stand up and talk to my spirit. And talk to my spirit as the author and finisher of that faith. That's, that, that's who you need when you talk about a savior. You, you don't need nobody who go out and take a quick course in Greek and come back and try to tell you how to get to heaven. You need somebody who already has prepared the road prepared the road I need somebody this 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 kind of savior thirdly I need a savior who will be everlasting I don't want to get all wrapped up and tied up in nothing and then the savior die it must be an awful thing to go to your savior's funeral I don't want to get wrapped up in nobody who beats me down I need somebody who can walk with me through the valley and the shadows of death myself. I, I, I need company myself to go through this place I've never been before. So I don't want nobody to, I don't want to save nobody and then you run out on me before I die. I won't serve nobody like that. I, I, I know one day that I'll come to the end of my journey. I know just as sure as I'm standing here, one day someone will pack my casket, but my soul, I want a hand that's everlasting. That'll walk with me through the valley and through the shadows of death, and whose hands will be steady. You will say, he'll hold my hand, boy and hold on and there'll come a moment when I face another time that I've never been through I have to have a savior who can say hold my hand boy we're almost through